Faith comes by hearing, and hearing the Word of God. You're listening to The Moment of Power with Azano Eddie Thompson. Daily audio devotions to energize your day, presented by the Advent Hero Ministries. Our Moment of Power topic today is Follow the Light, Part 2. Many shall be purified and made white and tried, but the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. Daniel chapter 12 verse 10. Our scripture for today's meditation talks about those who will and will not understand God's truth in the time of the end, what we call the last days. There is only one factor that differentiates those who will understand God's truth from those who will not. The verse says that the wicked will not understand, but the wise or the righteous will. The one factor is whether one has been following the light that one has been given by God and living righteously or not. So, those who continue to receive God's light will continue to receive more light. But those who reject the light of righteousness and continue to live wicked lives will no longer have spiritual illumination. They will no longer have spiritual insight to understand. The reason for this is because it is useless for God to continue to give light to someone who does not care about the light. God has previously shed light on him or her. That's why the psalmist would say that light is sown for the righteous. Psalm 97 verse 11. So only the righteous can receive more spiritual illumination. So when people begin to block their minds when you discuss the light of truth, with them when they appear to be benumbed and even confused. It's not because they are not smart, they can understand physics and all of that, but because their lives is not in harmony with God and the spiritual perceptions have been benumbed. So let's see how this principle played out in one or two Bible characters. Let's start with the positive one. One day an angel was sent from heaven to a Roman centurion called Cornelius and told him that God has been pleased with him and that his prayers and care for the poor has come up to God and God has recognized what he was doing. Although Cornelius had been righteous, in other words, he had been following the truth that God has shown to him, God knew that he needed more light of the present truth about Jesus. So God directed him to contact Peter to come and teach him about Jesus Christ. The light in Cornelius' life became fuller and he understood more and more of God's purpose about salvation. God did not send the messenger from the world of light or from the light of glory to Cornelius because he was perfect in his ways. But because he saw, that is, God saw that Cornelius was a sincere man who has been following all the light that he has received and complying with every of God's known requirement. It was his attitude towards the light, his attitude towards truth that was pleasing to God. Therefore, God opened the way for Cornelius to learn more truth that he might be saved. By the way, Cornelius' story is found in Acts chapter 10. But if someone rejects the light of truth when one's attention has been called to read, one is calling for nothing but darkness and destruction. That was what happened to Saul, the first king of Israel, in spite of all the revelations that God had given to Israel and that God had given to him about spiritists and about how they should not be consulted. Saul, with all other forms of disobedience, still went and consulted a spirit medium. In fact, God refused to speak to him because 
of disobedience. Instead of repenting and casting himself on God like David will do, he went on thought, one with a familiar spirit. Here's how the Bible describes his end when he stopped receiving the light. Quote, so Saul died for his transgression which he committed against the Lord, even against the word of the Lord which he kept not, and also for asking counsel of one that had a familiar spirit to inquire of it. Unquote. First Chronicles chapter 10. This is a typical example of one who perishes for lack of knowledge. The text that says that people perish, God's people perish for lack of knowledge, did not say that they do so because the people were ignorant. No, but because they rejected knowledge, they rejected available knowledge, they rejected light, and further light could not be given them. Notice what I just said as we read Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. Quote, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. Unquote. What is your attitude towards truth? Are you one of those the devil has deceived into thinking that truth doesn't matter? Well, I guess it's time to become undeceived and begin to follow the light of truth that God has graciously permitted to shine on your soul. You may not be visited physically or in a trance by an angel from heaven, but if you follow the truth, the truth of creation, the truth of Calvary, the truth of the Sabbath, the truth of God's commandment. If you follow the truth that you already know, your life will be more purposeful. This is the moment of power. May God bless you today in Jesus' name. Amen.